Every Christmas, millions of personalized ornaments sell on Etsy, but most sellers are still doing everything manually. I'm going to show you how I use AI and my designs to create, publish, and sell ornaments at scale all in one platform. Before I ever start designing anything, I like to do some research to see what's actually selling. So you can use Etsy.com to do this without actually paying for a tool. Um, just go to Etsy.com and in the search bar here, I'm just going to type Christmas ornaments and I'm going to hit um, search. Now from here, we can actually go a step further and I'm going to go to show filters and then I'm going to go to item format and select physical items as we don't want any digital download showing. And then I'm going to go to Etsy's best here and select star seller. Now in the search bar, you can see it says star seller equals true. I'm gonna just uh, change star here to best. And then this is going to show us all of the best sellers um, selling on Etsy right now. So if we look through these uh, ornaments, we can kind of just take a look and see what's selling really well. Obviously it's family names, um, pet products, um, addresses for first homes and things like that. But you can tell that the, all of the best sellers actually mean something to these people, like there's an emotional um, connection. So I think that we can take something like maybe this pet one here and we can kind of recreate it in our own style and then publish that. And maybe we'll do a couple different variations so that I can show you the power of doing things in bulk with my designs. I'm now over on my designs and the first thing you need to do is either log in or create an account. Now from here you'll go to the listings tab and you can create a collection or a folder which is going to store your designs. You can do that by clicking this home button next to listings and then clicking add folder and open folder at the bottom. You can see I'm already in one called personalized pet ornaments. Now we're ready to actually start designing our print files. So I'm gonna go under create and select dream AI. You can see all of our models available here. Uh, for this example, we're going to use Nano Banana. I find it does a really good job and especially at remixing images. So then we're gonna change the mode here from text to image to image to image remix. And this is basically where you would take the image that your customer sent you on Etsy and drag and drop it here. And then we're going to apply our new style to that image. And I'll show you how to do that. So here's a few um, images of dogs that I found. And the first one's going to be this golden retriever. I'm going to drag and drop it there. And then I also have a prompt that I, um, that I used ahead of time just to make sure that it worked well. You can find in the description of the video if you want to use it as well. But we're going to take this prompt and put it here under um, enter prompt. And then uh, all we have to do is click dream, but I'm going to actually change this from one images up to four as I want to have a few different options to choose from. And then I'm going to click dream. Now, while that generates, it should take just about 10 seconds, but we'll go ahead and exit out on this dog and we'll just use another one so that I can show you how to do a few different examples. So this is the pug with glasses and I'll actually show you what this image looks like um, a little bit bigger just so that you can kind of see how well this AI keeps the same general style. So now I'm going to go back to the prompt. And I'm going to copy it again. Oh, it looks like it was already in here. But we can just change Golden Retriever to Pug. And then click Dream again. So here's our first result. And you can see it did a really good job of keeping the exact same look of that Golden Retriever from the image. And then it put the Christmas hat on it, which adds a nice touch. And I think people will really enjoy that as well as their pet's name on these ornaments. And then here is the pug. You can see it kept the scarf and everything. It did a really good job there. Um, I think the people would find that one really appealing as well. So now that we have our dog images, we need a background to put on this Christmas ornament. So I also have one here that I used ahead of time that I'll also leave in the description, but I'm gonna copy this. But we need to go to the top and change mode from image to image to text to image. And then all we have to do is select this prompt and put the new one in and then click dream again. Now we have a few different snowy background options to choose from. So let's go down first of all and just select a few of these different dogs uh, or dog images, excuse me. I'm gonna select this one down here and then we'll also select this top um, left one to use. So we have our dogs. I'm gonna go ahead and click save to listings now. 
And from here, I'm going to remove the background. Um, that's why I generate it in plain white, as I find that it's easier to remove them. And we're going to use our newest model to do that. And I'm going to also upscale the image so that the quality is better. And we're going to create a new listing under the save mode. So then we'll just click save to listings and yes, store images. So you can now see that we have our images saved in our listings if you go back here. But we do want the background also that we're using to be in these file slots. So I'm going to go back to Dream AI once again. And let's just select one of these we like the best. Um, I'll go with this bottom right one. And I'm going to just click Save to Listings again. Um, this time I'm not going to remove the background. I am going to upscale it once again. Um, but I'm going to change the save mode to save to an existing listing. So then I'm going to select these listings. You can see this is both of our dogs that we just saved. Um, we want this saved to both of these. Unfortunately, we can only do one at a time. So we'll select the first one with the golden retriever. And then we're going to save it just to the next empty file slot called mockup one. That can be named whatever you want. So don't let the name deceive you. Um, and then we'll click save to listings. And yes, store images. Now we'll just do the exact same thing again for the second listing. So save to an existing listing, upscale, and then we'll save it to the pug listing and mock up one once again. And then we'll jump back over to the listings and get to work on those. All right, you can now see we have our dog image as well as our background image saved here. So we're ready to get to work um, creating these files. So first of all, make sure you select the listings and we do need to make sure we select them both if you are working with two or more at a time. And then I'm going to go to our canvas system here. Then I'm going to select templates and from here I'm going to search ornament. Now you can select whatever ornament you would like. There's a bunch of different options to choose from here. For this example, I'll be using the round ceramic ornament. Swift POD is our print partner who offers this and then we'll select the front uh, print area. Now you can see we have a template to go off of here. So we need to get our files added. You can see our two canvases down here that we're working with. So I'm going to click add listing file and I'm going to click add to all. Um, this add to all will make sure it does it for both of them instead of just one. And now you can see we have our dog image. I'm going to then right click this and click forward. And then I'm going to right click and click sync so that it applies that same um, job to this one as well. And then we're going to go to add listing file again. And now we're going to change this to mockup one and add our background. So we're going to click add to all once again. Oh, and it looks like we needed to actually move this forward after we had another image. So we'll just move it to the side and do that. And then we'll right click and click sync. And you can see it applied to this one as well. So we do need to adjust the size on these dogs too. So I'm going to reduce this one down a bit and then right click and click sync again. And we'll adjust this one to be just a bit bigger. So now you can see we have our dog images as well as our um, background ready to go. We just need to add some text to this. So I'm going to click rich text here. I'm not going to be too picky on this um, font and how it looks is I'm just showing you guys how to do it. So we'll just select one of these. I'm going to move it towards the top and then we'll make it quite a bit bigger. And then we'll extend the text out to the edges of the um, ornament. So from here, we'll just change this to maybe we'll say this dog's name is Cooper. Um, and then we need to adjust the um, color a bit to obviously match the um, design better. I think white would be just fine. But then I think we also need to change the outline of the text to be a little bit thicker. I think that looks pretty good there. And obviously you can adjust this however you see fit to look, um, you know, different. Um, you can choose a different style font. I'm just showing you as an example how to do it. So I'm going to right click the text now and click sync once again so that you can see it now applied to this one here. I'm going to adjust it just a bit and I'm going to change the text on this one and we'll just say Maya for this one. Now all we have to do is go to the top right corner and we're going to click save. Um, we're going to just overwrite the main file now as we don't need to use that anymore. We just barely created our one that we wanted to, that we actually need to sell I mean. So we'll just select main file. 
we're going to leave the format as a PNG, but this part right here is really important when you're doing personalized products like adjusting the pet and the text. You need to make sure you save this as editable. So you select that button there and then we click save. Now that our print files are ready to go, you can tell that these saved in the right way if they have this pencil icon here, that means it's saved as editable. So when your customer orders this and they send you an image of their dog and then the request for the name change, all you would have to do on the orders page is select this pencil icon. It will open up the same canvas. You adjust the name, adjust the image, click overwrite, and then it sends that new print file to your partner to send out that ornament. So from here, we need to get these published. We can do that by selecting them both once again. We're gonna then go to the top right corner and click publish. And I'm going to use a profile for this. So I'm under load profile, I'm gonna select public profiles. And then I'm gonna search ornament here. And we're going to be selling them as a ceramic and an aluminum ornament. And so we're just gonna click load profile. Now what this profile does is essentially generates all of our mock-ups, our pricing, everything that we have preset that we want to use for all of the ornaments that we publish in the future, we can just load that profile. And you can see all of our mock-up um, options here. And then if we click this button at the top next to listing preview, we can go over to the other listing we were doing with the other um, dog, the golden retriever. So you'll see these mock-ups will take just a second, but there they are. And we have all of them ready to go for both listings. I'm also going to generate a video mock-up um, because listings do better on Etsy if they have a video. So I'm just going to select auto generate. What that does is essentially creates a transition slideshow of these mock-ups so that if a, a customer is browsing and they hover over your listing, that video will automatically start playing for them. So from here, all we have to do is go, well, we actually do need to make sure that we, the aluminum ornament has the print file set up in the right way. So I'm gonna open the canvas and just make sure it looks good, and it does, so we don't need to make any adjustments there. We can now just go to the next step, which is populate data. Now we don't have any data in here, but we do have a really cool feature at My Designs called Vision AI, and you can do that right inside the publishing um, process. So I'm gonna select Use Vision AI. We're gonna make sure we have both our listings selected once again. And the input file slot is basically just the file that the AI is scanning to, you know, then go off of to generate this data. Um, the product type, we're going to type ornament here and select that. The platform is Etsy. We'll use our newest, uh, or excuse me, we'll actually use the 2.5 model, not three. And then we're going to generate the product features for the ceramic ornament and the aluminum ornament as well. Uh, you can give it custom instructions if it's not giving you good results to um, refine them, but I don't think we need to in this case. I'm going to leave the writing mode to overwrite and then just click generate data and yes, run Vision AI. Great, that's now ge done generating our data and you can see it actually did an incredible job. I'm really impressed that it got personalized dog ornament from reading an image that said an actual name. Um, and then you can see in the description as well, if we scroll down, that it included the product features for both these products we're selling, the aluminum ornament and the ceramic ornament. What I like to tell people is Vision AI gets you about 80 to 90% of the way there, but I always recommend you read through it, um, add some additional keywords, make some changes as needed. Um, but we're gonna go to the next step here and uh, select choose prices. And you'll see this is already done for us. Um, it was included in this publishing profile. So we'll just go to the next step again, which is preview publish info. And this just gives us one last look at what our listing looks like. Our primary mockup is here. This is our print file and then all of our um, data and then our tags down here in blue. If you have additional shops or stores you're selling on, you can change that here. And then for personalization, we need to make sure we select this personalization box at the bottom. And then we need to give our um, buyer instructions on what they need to do. So I like to do something along the lines of one, send me a message with a picture of your pet. And then two, send me your pet's name. And you can uh, word that however you'd like to, but once you get that, all we have to do is click publish and then I'll jump over to our Etsy shop and show you what these listings look like there.
We're now on Etsy.com under our listings tab. Everything that's published through My Designs will always go to your draft folder as you have to pay that 20 cent listing fee. So when we select draft, you'll see here are our ornaments that we just published. All we have to do is simply select them both click publish and pay that listing fee and then we're ready to go. If you want to launch a profitable Christmas store this year, My Designs is the easiest all-in-one way to do it. So if you guys have any questions, drop them below. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to our channel and we'll catch you on the next one.